Hello everybody, my name is Elena. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As promised, I'm here with a book haul because it was my birthday and I acquired a lot of books. Okay? I'm not proud of it, but it happened. And I said in my last video that there would be a book haul coming soon and well it's here so let's get into it because i have a lot of them my bookstore was doing a clearance sale and i got a bunch of books while that was going on because they were going for like really cheap uh, but they also weren't books that were like that popular so you just had to like dig around and find something you like and i had no trouble doing that <laughs> the first book that i got was one to watch by kate stamen london this is, I think, a, like a rom-com, but it's like adult. I don't think it's young adult. It's basically about this girl. Um, I don't know her name. Bea? Bea? Sorry. Um, and basically, she's a fashion blogger, and there's this show kind of like The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. They invite her to go on it because they've never had like a plus-size woman on the show, and she's going to be the first one. And I think, I don't know if there's a love triangle, but I think that she falls in love with one of the contestants and then it's kind of that situation like oh is this happening for the show or is it real so that's this book and i'm actually really excited to read it uh the margins are really big and the, the font is quite big so i think i'm gonna read it really quickly i'm just really not in the mood right now we'll get to that in a second the other one is a classic yeah and this isn't even the last classic in this video i'm doing pretty good with like classics and being brave enough to buy them and then read them um, this is Silas Marner by George Eliot. Um, George Eliot is actually a woman, but um, she was writing under an alias. The woman is called Marianne Evans, I think? Yes, Marianne Evans. Um, I don't really like reading classics by men, so it was really a, a selling point when I realized that um, it wasn't written by a man. Basically, it's really tiny, and it's about this guy called Silas. I think he's a linen weaver? Ooh. Yes, a linen weaver, and he gets accused of this sort of crime. I'm not sure if he did it or if he didn't do it, but he gets accused of doing this, like, bad thing, gets exiled to this small town, and he's quite, like, depressed. <laughs> and so he meets this little girl that's an orphan, and I think they just kind of find comfort in each other. Um, and I think it's going to be quite a sad read, but quite a short read. This is like the Wood Wordsworth Classics edition of it. Yeah, um, I really like it. So I got it. Um, the second time that I went, I decided to get into historical romance. So I got two by Tessa Dare. These are, I think, the second and third book in a four book series. Listen, I'm either going to read the other ones on my Kindle or I'm just going to skip them because I think they're just interconnected standalones. But I've heard really good things about Tessa Dare and I was specifically looking for her books. So I got two. I got um, A Week to Be Wicked and uh, A Lady by Midnight. Like I said, I think this is the second and third book in the Spindle Cove series. I'm very excited to read these. I think they're going to be like really easy reads but really fun because I've never read like historical romance and I think they're just gonna be like super entertaining to read and also like they're like mass market paperbacks they're really tiny so I could carry them around everywhere and then the last time I went I was like I'm not gonna get anything I'm just gonna go and have fun with my friend I got another classic they had Emma by Jane Austen this is again the w Wordsworth classics edition that is such a hard word for me to say I'm so sorry but yeah uh, I've never read Jane Austen, but again, written by a woman, and I actually really like this cover, like, I think it's really pretty. I'm really excited to read it, but this one is bigger, so I am a bit intimidated, uh, but I'm just in general intimidated by classics, but I'm gonna give this a go, because it's Jane Austen, and I know we like Jane Austen, and I think it's a romance. Those are the books that I got from the clearance sale. Now, we're gonna get into just these two books that I got when I was randomly at the store because they restocked, like they got new books. First of all, I got another classic and this is the last classic of the video, uh, but it's The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And I know I said I don't like reading classics written by men, uh, but there are rumors that it's written by his wife, okay? And that's the main reason why I want to read it because I will recognize a woman's writing anywhere. So I'm, that's like one of the main reasons why I want to read this. And also my friend vouched for the book. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll get it. Uh, also, the cover is beautiful. This is, like, it has, like, gold foiling and stuff like that. It's just, it's so pretty. 
Uh, this is the Alma Classics edition. Um, also, the writing in it is like basically like a normal book. Like sometimes classics are written basically like this, like they're really tiny writing. Um, and it makes my stomach do a tumble <laughs> because I get scared. But yeah, I'm very excited to read this. The cover is again beautiful. I'm so happy and it looks so nice like on my shelf. I was so shocked that they had this. What's it called? Happy Place. <laughs> they got Happy Place by Emily Henry. Now this is the paperback, but it's giant. So it doesn't match my other Emily Henry paperbacks. But at least it's the paperback. Okay, at least it wasn't the, like the hardcover. Um, but yes, I got this. I already read it. And I will say, I liked it. I gave it four stars, but I wasn't in love with it. My favorite book by her is uh, People We Meet on Vacation. Beach Read, I really liked, um, but it's nowhere near People We Meet on Vacation for me. And I haven't read Book Lovers. So do with that information what you will. But I read Happy Place and I didn't really enjoy it. I think it's like my least favorite. Like I still liked it, but I just, I didn't get connected to the characters. Um, and I feel like a lot of people got connected to the characters and I didn't. And a lot of people like sobbed at the end of this book and I was just happy it was over to be quite honest with you. Uh, but it's Emily Henry and her writing is always like really pretty. So no regrets here. I'll probably still read all of the other books that she writes. So now we get into debilitating category because it was my birthday and I bought a lot of books for myself and I received books from other people. So uh, we're gonna talk about them. The first book that I bought myself as a little pre like birthday present was Graceling by Kristen Kishore. Please look at the cover. Look at it. Yep, mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful. And I've been eyeing it for so long and then I got a TikTok about it. I was like, I'm getting it. This is a, um, like a young adult fantasy, I think, and it's a pretty old series, but they got new covers, like these beautiful ones. Basically, like in this world, there's people that have like powers and they're called, uh, like they have grace or they're called grace or something. An exceptional skill known as grace. Okay, so the skill they have is called grace. And this girl is like really good at killing people, I think. Is she like an assassin or something? And then I, I think she doesn't really like doing it. And then she meets this guy and then something happens. But the main reason why I got it was because while it is a series, it is a standalone. Like the next books are about different characters, I think set in the same world. Um, but you can just read this and decide not to read the other books. And sometimes I'm in the mood for a fantasy, but I don't want to start a new series. That's the first book that I got. And then I got really into Sarah J Maas. I decided to start reading Akatar. And they only had two Akatar books at my bookstore, um, so I got those. And I just want you to know that I'm now in love with like the whole Sarah J Mass universe. I'm currently reading Throne of Glass and filming a reading vlog for it. That's all you need to know for right now. Okay, let me just pull the books out. <laughs> so the first book that I got from Sarah J Mass was A Court of Frost and Starlight. This is the novella. Um, like it's pretty short and I know a lot of people skip it. I do not recommend skipping it. And I didn't do a reading vlog for Akatar because I was so engrossed in like the whole series and the story and the characters, but I am going to do a discussion video about it. So you will get some content <laughs> about Akatar, just not me fully like reading it. But I highly recommend that you still read this novella. I think it's beautiful. It's more so about the characters and just like them having fun. But also it is kind of sad still, but only like a tiny bit. It's more about like the characters and less about the plot because there's basically no plot in this book. And then we have A Court of Silver Flames. This is my favorite book out of the series and that's all I'm gonna say for right now. Um, but yes, I tabbed it, I annotated it, I adored it. I gave it five stars. Yeah, um, this is my baby, okay? So I obviously got this, read it really quickly, devoured it om nom nom you know and then because i read akatar i was like okay i have to read throne of glass now so obviously um i had to get the throne of glass books and there's eight books in the series okay but they don't have the assassin's blade at my bookstore because the uh covers that they have are the white ones which i'm really happy about because i don't really like the new covers 
so I managed to get like the white kind of OG covers of Throne of Glass. So we have Throne of Glass. Um, this is the copy that my friends bought me, my best friends ever. They got it for my birthday and I can't show you the first page where the dedications are because they put their signatures on there. Um, but they added like little drawings on it because I told them that they could do that. And they left me like little notes throughout the book. Um, and one in particular that I really like is the one that I got to like literally last night. And it's in Macedonian, but the rough translation is, babe, go to bed, it's 5 a.m. Like, that's enough. Like, stop reading, go to bed. Um, and it was really funny because I was like, should I continue reading? And then I saw that and I was like, oh, never mind. I'm not going to continue reading. <laughs> so I went to bed. But yeah, it's like, this is like my most prized possession now. Like, I don't even think Damage Like Us gets close to like how much I love this book because it has a piece of my friends in it. I'm currently reading this and like I said I'm filming a reading vlog for Throne of Glass. I don't know when that's coming but just know that it's in the works. And then obviously I got the rest of the series so I got Crown of Midnight. I don't really know what to say about these other books because I like everyone's already read them and it's not like I can tell you what it's about because I haven't gotten to this book yet, but also it's like in the middle of the series. So I'm just gonna list them off. I got Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, um, Queen of Shadows, which I've actually heard a lot of people say it's like one of their favorites. So I'm very excited about it. Um, Empire of Storms, it, chonker, chonker of a book. Um, and then I'm trying to like hold them <laughs> at the same time. Um, and then Tower of Dawn. This is a beautiful cover. Like, I really like this cover. Okay. And then the last book in the series is Kingdom of Ash. Please look at how big this is. I don't get intimidated by big books as long as they're not classics. So I'm not worried, but it's, it's really, like, it's so big. Yeah. Throne of Glass is missing because it's not in my hands, but... I got the entirety of the Throne of Glass series minus the Assassin's Blade, but I'm not that mad about it because while I did like it, it's not like, it wasn't life changing for me, so I don't have to own it. And I'm okay with just having these in these covers because I really do prefer these covers um, instead of like the new ones. I feel like the new ones are too minimalistic. Yeah, I'm gonna stack the books up here and I've just realized that there's more books I need to talk about, but I haven't pulled them out of my bookshelves so i'll be right back <laughs> there we go that looks nice look at them it's like it's basically like a sarah j mass shrine over here these books i didn't get at my bookstore i ordered these from uh blackwells so they arrived and now we need to talk about them uh, the first one that um arrived was kiss the sky by kristen beccarici um, this is part of the Calloway Sisters series, but like the republished versions from Berkeley. Those are the ones that I'm collecting because they're a lot cheaper and this bitch needs to save money if she wants to continue buying books. So I got this one and then I got Hot House Flower. Beautiful, beautiful books. They're like, this like cover is like gorgeous. I love it. And then I didn't pre-order this one and I was really sad that I didn't because I would have gotten it for cheaper, but I thought they'd have it at my bookstore and they didn't, so I had to buy, like, after. I got Addicted for Now by Kristen Beccarici, and I will be reading this, I think, soon, probably after Throne of Glass, because I'm gonna do, like, a tiniest bit of a break and then read Crescent City. Um, so I will be doing a, uh, rereading vlog where I annotate all of these books. Okay, there we go. Now it's a Sarah J Mass and Kristen Beccarici Shrine. And that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can like, you can subscribe if you'd like, you can comment. Comments make me really happy, but you don't have to do that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.